Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 29, 2021. If you like support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos and we'll stop looking at WTI oil. And as you can see, we're up rough, nearly 1%, 0.93% at this current day, trading at $113. And at this moment, as you can see, the middle of the bullish band is where we are finding support. Breaking to this point, which is 108, that basically rallied to the upside. Uh, we, if this basically breaks, then we have the 50 moving average here, which had uh, uh, tested three times here, and then it rallied to the upside. At this current rate, it looks like we are going to grind higher, getting to this point yet again. There is a shortage of supply for, for basically or, um, energy in general in the world. So there, and that is not a good thing for the, uh, that is actually a very bullish thing for the price I was supposed to say. Um, and therefore, we should see prices continue to increase until um, we'll see a recession and um, the demand for oil will decline uh, significantly or somebody just starts pumping more oil. So those are the two things that you know, could affect this market um, significantly to the downside. We are entering a, uh, a period of stagflation and usually after that comes in a recession and therefore we should see the prices of oil in the long run start falling again. But at this current stage, which is, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very likely that we'll see oil continue increasing um, uh, as we have seen for, basically this is uh, for entire 2022. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and so is the RSI. And therefore prices are more likely to increase up towards the top of the bullish band. That's roughly $123. So let's look at natural gas and natural gas continues to increase. It's getting very overstretched and we are basically seeing a double top here. And I would not be surprised if we see this uh, pull back towards the middle of the bullish band, which is roughly $4.8 or towards the moving average is here 4.5. This is probably as far as this will go. If you look at technical indicators for natural gas, we can see this is uh, the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and so is the RSI. If we manage to break above here, then there is technically nothing that preventing this from going back towards the very highs here. Uh, keep in mind, keep in mind that this is, is, this is uh, not the time of year where this uh, tends to rally. The forecasts for for uh, the next months uh, are that, that it's probably going to be a very warm summer in the United States, and that could mean that um, consumption of natural gas will be higher, and therefore prices could go up. But usually, uh, prices tend to fall this time of year and then rise back in October, November, and and so on. But at this point, we can see that this is not the last uh, first time we have tested this. Um, this price range, we can see also here, it fell apart, here it fell apart, and I'm guessing at this point um, that we will see something uh, in the next, uh, basically on Monday, where this will fall back towards uh, the middle or the uh, the, uh, the 50 and, uh, and, uh, and the 200 moving average before increasing again. Breaking below the 200 moving average, and then we'll probably see this fall apart. But at the moment, it is in uptrend. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.